Hello there, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and the Pond Guru channel on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very small bacteria generating filter. So these are the ingredients I'll be using today. We've got an original source shower gel bottle. This is a travel size. See how small it is in comparison to my hand. We've got some hammer beads. These are black and brown ones just sorted out from a, an assorted pack you can get just black or you actually you can order just about any color under the sun on ebay and these are gel bacteria balls there's live bacteria in here so we've got our little bottle here we need to drill three holes in the top or four holes or two holes however many you want to drill that's for the air to escape we need some holes in the bottom I've drilled six small holes for water to be drawn in and one slightly bigger hole for an airline I've also drilled holes around here as well so now we've got a nice clean bottle with holes in need to take these stickers off and if there's any residual glue on there just give it a good scrubbing off with hot water That's come off really nice. Can't feel any glue at all on there. That's our basic filter. So if we were going to use this whilst we were setting the tank up, i.e. whilst we were cycling the tank, we would fill this about 50% with the gel balls. And that would allow bacteria to flood out the top of here and colonize your main filter. No need to have this full of gel balls once the tank's cycled. So for normal use, i.e. after cycling the tank would fill this about two-thirds with hammer beads take the top off and in this top here we can stick a few of those gel balls probably only get a couple in each side and what that's going to do is provide this media with a constant supply of good bacteria and as the water flows over the gel balls it gradually dissolves them the bacteria settles where it can on this media and as this media is all knocking together it knocks the good bacteria off and that ends up in your other filter it's basically a bacteria generating filter that's it there really tiny little filter and I suppose you could use it to filter the waste from fish in a very, very small tank. But really, this is a, it's a supplemental filter. This is going to be generating bacteria for your main filter, whether that main filter is in your tank, or whether it's an external, or whether it's a sump. Now, I've had these hammer beads working in a filter that I made probably about two months ago. So they're quite well mature now. They move very well. And I'm hoping when the air goes into this tiny little filter that they will move well. If you make one of these, the beads might not move very well for at least a week, possibly two weeks. They need to build up a little bit of bacterial film and a bit of slime on them in order to move through the water properly. Now because this filter is so small, it's no good for the likes of Biomotion, Helex or K1. That media is simply too big to move properly within the confines of this container. That's enough of me talking, you probably want to see it working in a tank. So I'm going to set it up and video it in a tank. Well that's it working there. I put an airline in the bottom, just let it away up the back. And out the back of the tank there. There's very little air going into there, it's probably the equivalent of about maybe 30 litres an hour maybe. So even a tiny little air pump would be able to power this. I actually added some more hammer beads, so it's operating there at probably about 75% full. And even the ones up the top here are chugging, you know, they've got a good chugging motion, they are rubbing together and moving. gel balls that sit in the cap 
will be slowly dissolving over the next couple of weeks, seeding this media with bacteria, which in turn will be feeding on ammonia and nitrite, and then eventually it'll be getting spat out the top when it gets rubbed off, and that'll be colonizing your main filter. One thing I've done differently on this one, compared to the previous moving bed filters that I've made, is just had this clip on, so it's really easy to lift out. There you go, you can see the airline in the bottom. See how well the media is moving. It's going very well. All you would do is just unclip it, lift it out, do what you've got to do, and put it back. Really versatile. There you go. I think it's a great little filter. And if you're having problems cycling your tank, if you fill that with those gel balls, you're going to have no problem cycling your tank. The ammonia and nitrite is going to get absolutely devoured by the bacteria that live in those gel balls. When your tank's mature, having the hammer beads in here will support a really strong, vigorous bacteria. They'll constantly be getting knocked off as the media's in sort of chaotic motion. They'll be flying out the top of here, in your water, getting taken into your big proper filter, and that'll ensure that your proper filter is always fed with good, strong, hungry bacteria. So if you've liked what you've seen, please click like. Feel free to share it on Facebook, Twitter, any other social sites, forums and so on and such forth.